Kinky Development is trying to focus the development process just on low bar targets to benefit the poorest of the poor or the most advantaged only. And I think that Kinky Development uh, ign that ignores the needs, wishes, wants, and aspirations both of the poor and of the middle class is a narrow and short-sighted strategy that needs to be integrated and to drive for national development and shift that improves the overall performance of each sector. Kinky development is dangerous because it tries to slice off and do things without them actually being in integrally embedded in the overall national development process. So for instance, you might imagine that we can accomplish things in a kinky way for just a few targeted beneficiaries without actually improving the overall operation of the political system, the overall performance of the economy. And that's true in the short run, but not in the long run. In the long run, you can't ignore the hard slog of organizational improvement, of political improvement, and of economic improvement, which is what I call national development. And if you don't do national development, ultimately kinky is just uh, a palliative, not a cure. It's interesting because there's sort of three kinds of countries, roughly, right? There's the very low income countries, like some countries in Africa and some of the poor countries like Haiti. And then there's the emerging middle countries, which are Indonesia, India, Brazil, um, China. I think more and more of these countries are practicing national development and avoiding kinky development, but they're not yet articulating that in the political space. So part of the tension in development today is the rhetoric is very kinky and the reality is very national development oriented, and that's because the rich countries often like the rhetoric of the kinky and the national development, the middle income countries, who by and large are now the bulk of the world's population, they're interested in national development, but they're not yet articulating it as such. So I think two things are going to happen. One, these countries are going to be more powerful, and so the world is going to move away from just being dominated by the rich countries anyway. And then secondly, I think the rich countries are going to buy into some better balance between national and development. I'm not about eliminating kinky. I just need, think it needs to be in proportion to its true importance.